subscribe to my channel. So today is going to be like a Q&A, McBang, McDonald's Monopoly sort of mashup. I went to McDonald's with the intention of buying things with like the Monopoly st stickers. I guess you can call them stickers. Turns out out of the four items I bought, only two of them have Monopoly stickers, but that's all right because I get to eat because it's like close to one it's like 20 to one right now so yeah and I've got about an hour till my uh, driving lesson but without further ado let's just get into this video also by the way I asked out the questions on Instagram and if you are not following me on Instagram I will kind of leave it titled up here so you can check it out but yeah, let's just get into this McDonald's mukbang. Yeah, it's basically a mukbang. So just in case you're wondering what I bought, I got 20 chicken nuggets because it's cheaper than buying six. Ish. I'll let you know about that in another video if you want me to. I got the mayo chicken burger. I got a medium fries and a large diet coke and we went for diet because I'm trying to be as healthy as I can even though I bought McDonald's also if you catch me looking out the window it's because I'm wanting to see if my mum's partner gets home because preferably I don't want him here whilst I'm filming because I'm filming in my dining room in case you hadn't figured out but yeah they've switched over to the paper straws Ooh, these are strong and sturdy, but then again, as soon as they get wet, mm, mm. watch this go downhill very quickly. I may have to use the straw I've got upstairs, which is plastic, but it's like a long life plastic. That makes sense. But yeah, let's eat the burger first because. The chicken nuggets, I can eat when they're cold. So yeah, it's obviously mayo, lettuce and chicken. Like, I'm sorry, but how thin is that chicken? Because it obviously looks a lot fuller on, in like, pictures. Well, I... Basically, if someone asked me to do a false eyelash tutorial, I will do. Will I buy the false eyelashes? By the way, this is my first time eating a mayo chicken burger. I, whenever I'd have a burger in the past, it'd always be like the cheeseburger. Well, to be more exact, the plain cheeseburger. But to be honest, I'm more of a salad cream person than a mayo. But I can't see this. By the way, that question was asked by Harriet. Do I mention names? Well, they put asked it out on my Insta, so yeah. Then Jasmine asked, what's the most embarrassing thing you've ever done? Basically, I think it was like, it was either the first day of year 10 or like one of, or like it was right at the start of year 10 and I just had maths and I was leaving the maths block and there's this like manhole and it was slightly raised and I tripped over it and I fell and basically I was wearing a skirt and behind me was the guys in my year and so who laughed at me but I got straight back up again and I literally just went to the library. But yeah, that was embarrassing. Molly asked, what made you want to be a YouTuber? Well, I've answered this question in a previous video, but I think it was kind of more, I was seeing that people being like successful with it and I don't know. 
I think I might have started it out to earn a little bit of money, but now I do it because I want to do it. But yeah. And if you want a longer response, go check out my previous like Q and A. Need to dip into this ketchup and the fries. I got a medium fries. Did I mention that at the start? I know I said fries, but I can't remember whether I said medium. Hallie asks, "What are your hobbies?" Well, to be honest, I don't really have hobbies unless you count YouTube. But I read the book the odd time. But yeah. She also then asked, what do you find like, the easiest and the hardest steps in like my makeup routine? Well, the easiest step in my routine has probably got to be mascara. That's easy to do. Then one of the hardest is eyeshadow. I love doing eyeshadow, but it's like one of the hardest. Malik asks, can you do a current playlist video? Possibly. I don't know. I think she's asked that previously though. She also asks, how are you liking college? I'm enjoying it, but I can't wait till like I start my new course in September because I just want to finish now. Triple psychology on a Thursday is killing me. Not literally, but you get what I mean. She also asked me, do you miss lower school? And and I guess she, what she'd mean by that is, do I miss secondary? And, well, I guess it's the odd time I do, but no. But also, if you're asking whether I miss primary, uh, I do sometimes because it's like you're carefree and everything, but yeah. Sorry, I just saw a van go past and I was like, is it him or is it not? Let's peel off some of these Monopoly stickers. By the way, I have bought a Diet Coke before and I have got the Monopoly stickers from it. They're upstairs. Um, like, obviously you get, it was a large Diet Coke. And so obviously I got three Monopoly stickers. One of them was where you entered the code online. I didn't get anything from the code. But the other two, you need like the two corresponding ones in order to get the prize. But I've not got that to hand. And obviously on a medium fries, you only get two. And one of them is whether I will win online, so that's something I need to enter. And then I've got a Trafalgar Square. I can't remember whether I've got one of the Trafalgar squares or not, but... Now let's do the Coke. And another one is Enter Online. Oh yay! I won porridge or a hash brown. I never even, I never even knew McDonald's did porridge. Should I try that for a video? Maybe. And then I got white chapel bread, a medium extra value meal. But I just need to add M100 to win. 
and then obviously like I said the code so if you were here for the Monopoly stickers you can obviously exit now but if you still want to continue on with the Q&A continue watching then Harriet asked me again because obviously she asked the first question plus she asked the second one is she's asked me to do a festival makeup look um I don't know I probably will end up doing it but at the moment I don't know because I'm trying to I still need to film the university series videos I still need to finish researching for all the, um, the rest of them And then, yeah. I guess that's just how it is, really. So now, I'm going to talk about stuff that's going on in this vlog right now. Let's talk about the one that everybody wants to talk about, Brexit. Honestly, like every UK person, I'm fed up with Brexit. I just want this whole thing to be over. Like, it's dragging on for too long. Wait, I read a previous Q&A before. I feel like asking So I'm going back to my old questions now. And, and so, Izzy asks, what is your favourite film slash TV show? Well, favourite film at the moment is the Beauty and the Beast remake. I love that. I've watched it about six times. And that is a lot for me. Usually I only watch a film like once or twice. Apart from Harry Potter, I've watched those a couple of times and they're always good. But yeah. These McDonald's paper straws are holding up quite well. I'm impressed. Um, for TV show, I don't know. I really enjoyed Sex Education when I watched it on Netflix. I'm also kind of getting through the. I'm getting through Pretty Little Liars. Those are the main two I've watched. But to be honest, I just really enjoy watching like the films on Netflix. I, I don't know why, but I do. Also, let's do like an update on my new New Year's resolution. It's going terrible. I'm heavier now than I was in January. I believe so, anyway. Yeah, I am. And I'm eating all of this right before I go to my nan's. And then 
gorge on food there. So, not good. Not good. But, that's just how it is. I'm obviously going to try and improve my nutrition after I right there. Going to my nose. And I have been good in terms of I've requested fruit from her. But the ice cream's not healthy. Neither does the about five litres of um, orange juice I'll end up eating. Neither does the cranberry juice. And yes, I am that weirdo who likes to uh, drink cranberry juice on its own. But, yeah. I can't remember whether I asked this. I can't, I mean, I can't remember whether I asked this, but Hallie asked, what do you regret about high school? I can't remember whether I answered that, but I regret not being confident enough sooner. Like, I was one of the most unconfident people ever. And then when I left my dance school, the dance school, I seemed to gain a lot of confidence within months so maybe the dance school is holding me back I don't know Emma asked what keeps you motivated for school work I'm not motivated next question Dream pet, well, just dog. And there's still no boys on the scene, so sorry. And that is all the questions I'm going to ask. I feel like some of the questions I've answered from my previous Q&A, like I've given slightly different answers, so I guess that's a good thing. But yeah. So this is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to smash a massive thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Comment any video ideas. Or is it that way? Yes, yeah, that's so. Comment any video ideas and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.